Did you know that investigating a robbery requires more attention and more intelligence than solving math problems? Not everyone can be a detective. We prepared some riddles for you. Only people with a high IQ will be able to investigate and solve all these thefts. The coffee shop. Olivia is a freelancer. She usually works from a coffee shop. In the morning, Olivia went to her favorite coffee shop. She had a big day ahead of her. She ordered a coffee, like she always did, and started working. Olivia went outside for a while. She had a private call to make. When she came back, her cup of coffee was gone. Who stole Olivia's coffee? You got 12 seconds to find the first thief. The answer? This guy. Look, there's lipstick on it. The laptop. John had been gone for a long time. During his absence, someone stole his laptop. The police found three suspects. Jacob said, I spend the whole day with my girlfriend. John is my friend anyway. I wouldn't want him to be without his laptop. Plus, hello, stealing is a crime. Ethan said, I didn't even know John had bought a laptop. Anyway, I was at home all day. And Emma said, I spent the whole weekend at my parents' house. I just got back a minute ago. The police immediately realized who had lied. Which of them lied? You got 12 seconds to spot the liar. The answer? It's Emma. She said she just got here, but it's impossible to make a fire that fast. The small town. There was a small, quiet town, pretty boring place. Out of the blue, people started reporting loads of robberies. Someone was robbing houses in broad daylight, that's crazy. The police were sure that the burglar was one of the locals. They decided to interview the victims. Hannah said, A week ago, someone stole my new TV. Jackson said, My new tools are gone. Harry said, I also had a burglar in my house. He stole my favorite parrot. Nancy said, Someone stole my autographed t-shirt. I bought it at the auction at the last football game. The policeman realized that one of them was the robber. How did they figure that out? You got 12 seconds to prove yourself. The answer? This is Nancy's autographed t-shirt. He's the burglar. The birthday. A rich businessman was celebrating his birthday. He invited only his closest friends. At the end of the evening, he discovered that some jewelry had been stolen. He immediately called the police. Of course, everyone said they were innocent. I mean, who steals from a gracious host, right? Unfortunately, there were no security cameras in the office where the jewels were. But there was one in the living room. The detective watched the video and realized who was involved in the theft. Who did the detective suspect? 12 seconds to look at the footage and find the thief. The answer? It's this guy. He had a cast on his right arm during the questioning. But during the party, the cast was on his left arm. It's a fake. The Sausage. It was a beautiful Christmas Eve. Our favorite detective went to the store. He had the Christmas spirit and he wanted to buy something delicious, maybe a cake, maybe some brownies. The saleswoman was crying. She was trying to explain something to the store manager. She said, You came at the right time. Someone just stole something from the meat counter. A man took some sausages and a large piece of ham and mingled with the crowd. It happened just a minute ago. He had a briefcase with him. The detective ran outside. The thief couldn't have gone very far. 
So who's the thief? You got 12 seconds to find the Hamburglar. The answer? There he is. The sausages in the briefcase attracted a dog. It's following that delicious smelling briefcase. The guard. Late at night, a bank was robbed. In the morning when the police arrived, they found broken glass at the front door, a guard and an empty vault. The security guard said that someone poured something into his tea, which made him fall asleep. So he didn't hear the robbers breaking into the bank and taking away two million cash. After listening to the guard, the police arrested him. Why? There's several clues here, can you guess them? I'll give you 12 seconds. The answer? Well, firstly, the guard would have heard the glass breaking before the robbers could put something into his tea. And secondly, guys, how on earth did the security guard know how much money was in the vault? The house. Another small town was experiencing a wave of robberies. No one could catch the robber. The police decided to put up ads throughout the city. A reward for any information about the robber. Right away, a man called saying that he saw a robber near his house. The robber was walking around at night, choosing which house to rob next. The detective arrived and saw three houses. Which house will the thief rob next? Okay guys, time to prove yourself for real. I'll give you 12 seconds. The answer? It's the third house. Look, it's a residential house, but no one's living there right now. The first house is for sale, so that's probably empty. The second house has a light on, a car parked outside, and a blinking alarm. No one would be that stupid. The fingerprint. Someone stole all the money from a businessman's home safe. Only three people knew the combination. They were the housekeeper, the businessman's nephew, and his secretary. The detective tried to find some fingerprints. He looked on the safe, the office door, the phone, the desk, but everything was wiped clean. He questioned the suspect. The secretary said, My boss asked me to come. He forgot some documents at home. After 20 minutes, I called him back. I told him that the safe was open and all the documents were scattered on the floor. The housekeeper said, I was busy in the kitchen at the time. I didn't even know the secretary was in the house. I haven't been in that office since yesterday. The nephew said, Yeah, I knew the secretary had come to our home. I opened the door for him. Then I just went back to my room. The detective knew immediately that someone had lied. Who's the liar? This one's tricky. Can you solve it? I'll give you 12 seconds. The answer? It's the secretary. Remember, there were no fingerprints anywhere. But the secretary said he called the boss from the home office. So that means he wiped everything in the office, including the phone. Hey, do you agree with that answer? Are you sure? Tell me in the comments. 